a pendulum that moves back and forth with a regular period or regular time has something called simple harmonic motion. That means that every single cycle maintains the same time. So anything that does that, completes a cycle in the same amount of time, is set to exhibit simple harmonic motion. In the lab you did the other day, the one fact that you found that really affected the period of a pendulum or the time it took, so again, period is the time it takes to go through one cycle, is the length. So a longer pendulum means a longer time. A shorter pendulum means a shorter time to go through a cycle. So we're going to start looking at this formula for a speed of a wave. Now, speed can also be distance over time. But what we're going to be looking at here is the quantities, frequency, and wavelength. For a specific wave, if you take its frequency in hertz times its wavelength in meters, if you multiply those, That'll give you its speed in meters per second. So the relationship between velocity, frequency, and wavelength, the way it works is that the velocity in a medium, so medium means the type of matter you're talking about. So if a wave in water, it's in water. Water is the medium. If it's on a string, the string is the medium. That velocity stays constant. So what that means is that if you increase the frequency, if this is going to stay constant, the wavelength will go down. So frequency and wavelength are opposite of each other. Now, looking at this formula here. So this has a wave vibrates back and forth three times each second. That is telling you the frequency. So the frequency is three cycles every second. So we know the frequency is three. The other thing we know is the wavelength is two. So to get the speed, it's frequency times wavelength, or three times two, which would be six, and unit for velocity is meters per second. So this problem says you notice 10 waves every 30 seconds. So what that means is the frequency, which is waves per second, is one-third. It says the crests of the waves are five meters apart. So that means that the length of the wave is five meters. So if you're trying to figure out the velocity, it's one-third times five. Or you could say the velocity is five-thirds. Or if you want to divide that out, you could say it's 1.6 repeating, or 1.7 meters per second.